Hi, this is Shadi. Two years ago, I did a video called Judo vs. Greco-Roman Wrestling, detailing the common throws, but the different approach to the same uh, throws. Um, the video will be linked in the description below. Today, however, I will be doing something different. I'll be going through old footage, much like I do in Judo, and try to retrieve stuff that you don't see in today's Greco-Roman Wrestling. Much like any other arts, there are very frequently used techniques and throws like head and arm throw um, arm throw and of course a lot of gut wrenching and body lock throws to the rear like uh, tawaragashi uranage dakiwakare etc so what i will do today is try to go through uh, an old soviet movie and an old italian movie from the first part of the 20th century random uploads on youtube i'll link them below so the first one here is an overhook and here you get this hip toss this is you know very intricate grip fighting um, trying to position your hands um, this is something that I've never seen personally I've watched Olympic matches and world championships and it seems a very smooth throw to apply if I were to put it in the Gokyo I would classify it as a Tsuri Komigoshi uh, it's not an easy throw to get especially with the high level of gripping and the level of the competition that we are in today so i get that you don't see something as slick as this quite often so here the tsuri komigoshi instead of having your uh, arm on the lapel you obviously overhook the arm kind of like an overhook uchimata you see in mma but here it's a tsuri komigoshi now side note in my opinion this is the best application of aikido's uh, iriminage uh, this might look this is what you call a head and arm throw it's not koshiguruma per se because there's no engagement of the hips um, here you see this is uh, aikido's iriminage uh, that's a great way of applying it you see it in greco all the time if i were to try to classify it if you are throwing forward such as this way but chopping the hand down because obviously there's no gi it would be a sumi otoshi one of the hardest throws to pull uh, in judo obviously instead of punching the face with the lapel you cut down with your hand but if you are throwing them forward and not backwards like here it would be classified as uki otoshi which is another throw that we will see later on in this uh, video so uh, i love that greco really has these intricate and subtle throws now this one here is absolutely amazing um this is what we classify ippon seonage however the entry is very interesting you see tricep grip you enter as if you are doing kochi makikomi however you lift with your tricep you cup the lat and the shoulder the bottom of the shoulder the armpit with your tricep and then you lift upwards and then you throw um, changing direction this is absolutely insane very technically prestigious and it's one of the reasons why i love greco-roman wrestling so here you see you have this ippon seonage um, very rarely used in judo as well um, in the old days they would drop on their knees and, and as you see the hand it blocks the leg um, but here you see now this one here is re really took my attention so you have your ogoshi grip you know overhook and an underhook um, or a tricep grip and an underhook he goes for ogoshi or a major hip uh, throw you know the okay stiffens he gets his head underneath as if he's going for kataguruma or a fireman's and he changes back to ogoshi as he gets the right um reaction let's see it here from this angle he has a tricep grip underhook faints for ogoshi gets his head as if he's going for fireman which is a very interesting fireman because i've never seen a legless fireman with a hand around the waist like an ogoshi because it's gonna make dumping to the side very difficult since you have your hand behind but you can actually dump forward and like here sacrificing yourself backwards so that's a very interesting fireman which is a ogoshi grip but you get duck underneath and lift them on your shoulders so that's something i've never seen before and maybe i'll give it a try in judo so the next one here and this one is very interesting as i mentioned uh, earlier so you have your uh, sumi otoshi if you chop forward but here if you throw them 
backwards if you throw if you rotate backwards and throw them forward as you see here this would classify 100% as an ukiyotoshi a teiwaza a floating drop here you see you throw them forward the first technique in nage no kata learned and again one of the rarest techniques pulled off in judo and greco roman wrestling a beautiful rendition with no gi so here this is the basic form in nage no kata but you can also of course rotate your hips to fully um as you see here to fully accentuate the throw but since there's no gi the overhook and the underhook are going to play their role in greco-roman wrestling again rarest throw in judo and greco-roman wrestling can be found in old uh, footage luckily we have the kata uh, that preserves these throws and the gokyo so um here let's see it one more time ogoshi grip but you don't load on the hips you just throw them forward as you go down on your knees absolutely brilliant um this throw abs absolutely blew my mind so you have here over and under and the battle he grips an ogoshi grip but arches his back and hurling his opponent forward onto his stomach so instead of you know bending forward he actually arches backwards uh, gets the arm around the waist and then does a very interesting sutemi or sacrifice technique a lot can go wrong with this one so you have to be very good at it here is your classical um turnover with the overhook into ushiro kesa getame uh, i just wanted to put it here as a parenthesis because you know the similarities are absolutely insane if i were to go into the nogi world it would 100 percent be greco roman wrestling now let's go more into the groundwork of greco roman let's see these turnovers instead of gut wrenching and you know doing these high lifts and throwing backwards you can get extremely technical with this double nelson but instead of letting them bridge on their neck here and avoid the pin you actually get underneath them uh, so it makes uh, bridging incredibly difficult this one here is like a koshi guruma grip but you actually go to the other side and you see how the arm lands underneath the neck preventing them from bridging uh, on the neck and levitating their shoulders up because you know remember it's just one second here you get absolutely underneath them gripping the the arm like a waki getame and they cannot bridge on their neck one second and it's over here a stomach grip and then you rotate and then get them uh, it's a very interesting um, pinning uh, i'm sure in judo it would catch them by surprise because they are rarely they're not used in judo so here you see a classical koshi guruma pin into kesagatame um here look at this uh turnover uh drill i would say you know you get pinned and then you roll them over and then he does the same and on and on this is a great uh drill for avoiding pins and doing turnovers for judo or bjj or any grappling art that involves pins and finally leva acelare uh, a very interesting turnover so here you see you do like a baseball bat grip but you do like a kimura grip uh, on the hand that's pressing down the neck and then you turn them over let's see it again slowly so here you do like a anaconda i'm not entirely sure jujitsu people help me out what would you call this but you get a kimura grip and then you turn over and get them on their shoulder unable to bridge on their neck so um, there's a lot more techniques if you go through this footage i'll link them in the description below uh, random uploads on youtube can be in extremely helpful if you are someone that's looking to view um, the entirety of a martial art so these old footage are always helpful and they help preserve the art so um, i'll post the video links in the description below so one is a soviet movie and the other is an old italian movie so uh, if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content but don't worry my main content will always be here but your support would be greatly appreciated this was shady and thank you for listening